Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. All right, we finally got the EF fuel tank in because the one on the left was all rusted up. The one on the right is the new aftermarket one. It's just a eBay, Amazon, off the shelf type one from Taiwan. We're gonna go over the differences between them, whether they're worth it or not, and if everything's gonna work. So when we take a quick glance at it, everything seems to be okay. I mean, there's slight, um, I guess, mold differences. If you can see down this area here and this area here, it looks like on the OEM tank, it's got a little more room coming towards the bottom and this is kind of cut off. Other than that, it has the fill neck and everything else, the uh, overflow and the EVAP system has the fuel pump hanger area and the sending unit area. Uh, the little humps are there. Looks like all the tabs are present. And again, uh, this one is just more smooth and this one kind of just cuts off if you see. So there is a noticeable difference. Um, out here, it looks like this sticks out maybe a little further, possibly. But overall, the general dimension is about the same. The big thing I noticed was in here. Now, if you see, let me zoom in for you. We had a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of rust in there. And you can see, I had to get, let me see if I can get a better shot for you. It's all rusty in there. There's a huge baffle right there as soon as you look in. The thing I noticed about the, uh, the aftermarket one, there's no baffle. So there's no baffle down there. Nothing. So I assume that there's going to be a fuel slosh. Your sending unit might be showing, you know, different readings at different times. Uh, I did notice there was a difference with the aftermarket fuel pump as well. So I'll show that once we get it out here and get everything going to hang in. Um, so there are some notable differences. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything. And we'll go through the best combination that I found. And like I said, hopefully it works out. First thing we want to do is go ahead and transfer over all these rubber pads. They just kind of peel off. If one breaks or it doesn't come off, it's not, nothing to be worried about. Just go ahead and peel off each one of those and stick them back in the spots that they have to go on the new tank. I'm going to use a little bit of silicone to do that. Okay, we transferred over all the old rubber strips onto the new tank. Like I said, we just used some silicone. That center one right there just kept breaking apart, so we left it off. And just space that one a little bit further up, about an inch. Kind of take up some of the slack. Another thing we wanted to point out was the fuel pump. That's the OEM one. If you see how the sock goes off to the right there. The aftermarket one, the sock is even on both sides. Uh, the pump is quite a bit smaller. The one thing I did notice is that this hanger hangs lower than this one. So that may compensate for that sock being large run off to the left and for them uh, baffles missing in there. So hopefully the aftermarket tank with the aftermarket fuel pump will work out fine. Um, I did get a OEM Honda sending unit. So we'll get all that in. So the very next thing you want to kind of do is blow out the gas tank and make sure there's no debris in there and go ahead and set the fuel pump down in there. All right, get your gasket on your fuel pump and it goes down in and to the right if you're looking at the back of the tank like it was in the car. It goes down and to the right. And it just sits right on there. Bam. So we'll get the nuts tightened on there and get this bracket in the right spot. All right, the next issue we ran into was with the fuel pump hanger. Uh, I believe that's the return line. The tab there, I had to bend it up because if you look at the OEM one, it sits on there flush. But on that one, it doesn't make it. So, not a big deal. Had to fight with it a little bit, bend it up. That's good to go. So we'll get the um, sending unit out here now. Alright, I was fortunate enough to get a genuine Honda 
sending unit. So that's an OEM Honda sending unit, OEM Honda gasket, and OEM Honda lock. So this is very easy to go in. You see the pump is now in front of me. There's the hole. Stick it in. Turn it to the right. And straight forward all the way down. You have a locating tab right there where it locates. Once you got that on, you take your slip ring, you put it on, and tap each one of the tabs around. So let me get that in. All right, once you get the fuel pump hanger assembly in and the fuel level sending unit in, start transferring over all the little clips that hold the wiring down onto the side of the tank. Transfer them over into the exact same spot. Reroute the wiring harness around. We're going to take off all the EVAP and hose accessories there. We're going to have to take one hose off of the fuel hanger to reuse because that has the fuel dampener nut right there. Uh, we're going to wash everything up and get it looking good before we put it back on the new tank. All right, we got the harness routed back up on here. One thing to note, these tabs were bent straight out, so I had to bend each one of the tabs up to put the wiring harness. But it fit, everything went around, and it's sitting there nicely, ready to go back into the car. All right, the tank, for the most part, is complete. The only thing we gotta transfer over is the fuel neck hoses and the EVAP system, which is all over here, and one fuel hose, so we're gonna clean everything up and get it all on there. All right, it started to rain out, we had to take a break, but we got everything back on, as you can see. The hose we transferred over onto the new fuel pump hanger. Cleaned up the EVAP system a little bit, got the hoses cleaned up and everything, new clamps, sender. So we're going to go ahead and send her on up and hopefully get this thing started. Alright, we just filled the hatch with gas. The tank is in. It looks beautiful under there. Sitting nice and pretty. This is the first time I'm going to turn the key. So we're going to see what's going to happen. We'll listen for that fuel pump. Oh, there it is. You heard it. And we'll wait to see if the fuel gauge catches up. Let me go check out there and see what we got going on. All right, we got fuel up to the fuel filter. Let me close off that bleeder real quick. All right, the fuel gauge is probably right because I only put about two gallons in it. Let's see if it starts. Oh, it tried. Let's try one more time. It runs. Look at that. Amazing. Alright, we have a fully running car now. That is great. So, we got the fuel tank in. Everything's up. Now we'll start cleaning it out and getting everything situated. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.